Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Carly. Thank you so much for coming and watching this video. I am a labor and postpartum doula and most recently a mother. I uh, recently had my first baby, his name is Wilder. And here on my channel, I make content about pregnancy and labor and motherhood and pretty much everything that falls in between. And in today's video, I am going to be talking about cloth diapers. Now, more specifically, I wanted to talk about a particular brand of cloth diapers. I'm going to make an entire video about like my cloth diapering routine, but first and foremost, I wanted to give you a little review on this company and the diapers that they have, um, because I have been giving them a try here for the last month or so. And I have a lot of thoughts that I wanted to share before we jump into it. If you are new, definitely consider subscribing to my channel. If this is content that you like to see, uh, I would love to have you for my next video. Go Go ahead and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell so that you are notified whenever I upload any new videos. And if you are enjoying this video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps me out so, so much if you do. Today, I'm going to be talking about cloth diapers from a company called Nora's Nursery. Um, I have been cloth diapering Wilder for a couple of months now. We did a few cloth diapers when he was a newborn. I got like a used set of cloth diapers on Facebook Marketplace. Place. And we kind of use them sometimes. We really didn't fuss with them too much. We probably only use them like 25% of the time. But now that he's big enough to wear some of the other cloth diapers that I've tried, I've purchased, I wanted to try them out and see how they worked. Um, I found this company on Instagram. I saw a picture of them and I was drawn to them initially because the colors are so cute. They have really pretty neutral colors. And I find with a lot of the cloth cloth diaper companies that the colors are just not super cute. They're not my style at least. They're not the kind of colors that I like on my color palette. So I was first drawn to this company because they have a lot of really pretty neutrals. And I started looking into them and I went to go order the diapers and I was reading on the website more about the company and kind of like their mission behind what they're doing. And I really started to fall in love with uh, what they stood for. They are proponents for promoting ethical manufacturing when it comes to um, like hours worked and fair pay and safe and healthy work environments. They design all of their cloth diapers here in the US, but they do export their manufacturing to China. But on their website, they have all the information you would want to have if you are trying to find out more about the type of manufacturing plant that they work with and um, the different materials that they use. They elect to have their products evaluated by the Consumer Product Safety Commission, and they are held to the same guidelines and standards that um, products that are manufactured in the US are held to. And they opt to do that on their own to ensure that their consumers know that their products are safe. Ultimately, they are looking Looking to provide high quality diapers at a lower price point. If you're anything like me, when you started looking into cloth diapering, you might have had a little bit of sticker shock when it came to how much a cloth diaper cost. I was shocked to see that they were like 20 or $25 each. And I just didn't have that kind of money to invest on the front end, even though I really wanted to cloth diaper. Um, so another thing that I loved about Nora's nurseries is that you get seven diapers for like $60, I think. So when I I saw that they were cheap diapers, they were cute diapers, and that they had uh, high standards when it came to their manufacturing and ethical procedures, I was like, these are, there's no way, like these are too good to be true. They can't work. <laughs> like They have to be awful diapers or they don't absorb well. There's no way that this diaper has all the things that I'm looking for and they work really well. So I decided to put them to the test. And over the first week that I tried the diapers, I documented our entire kind of like journey for those first seven days and gave you an honest review within the first seven days. And then now I have used them for, I think, like I said, over a month, maybe two months now. Uh, we are not exclusive cloth diapering. We are not putting him in cloth diapers overnight just yet. I haven't even tried. Uh, we are only using them during the day. So we are definitely still using disposables alongside the cloth diapers, but we have been using them for quite some time. And I've definitely gotten like my sea legs when it comes to using the cloth diapers. I have a couple to show you just some of the really cute colors. I love this like burnt orange one and this it's like turmeric and this steel blue one. They have the prettiest colors and they are uh, pocket diapers. 
diaper. So it has a stretchy pocket here and you take the inserts that come with it and stuff the insert inside of the diaper. So on the first day I tried the diapers with Wilder with just the one insert that comes with the diapers. So today I tried a new cloth diaper on Wilder and put him down for his nap and he's waking up. So I'm gonna see how the diaper held up. How does it feel? Let's check it out. So after nap number one, we had a dry outfit and a very happy baby. And um, after checking out a couple more of his diapers, we had complete successes. You guys are seeing me in like all of my early morning glory, but that's real life. So after his second nap, he had a dry outfit and was still a very happy baby. Um, and then after his next nap, the fourth diaper of the day, we had a wet outfit. So I needed to figure out what it was that cause this. At first I had to kind of figure out what sizing was right for him and like his waist and his um, thigh at the time. And what's really nice about these is that they have the snaps so that you can do different sizes depending on how big your baby is. I think it starts at eight pounds or 10 pounds is when they recommend starting to use these. And I think he was well over that. I think he was probably like 12 pounds when we started using them. Um, and I found the best configuration for him was to take the lowest snap and snap it up to make the legs as tight as possible because he doesn't have super chunky baby thighs. Um, if your baby has thicker thighs, you might wanna snap down one more. So we always snap the bottom row to the top row to give it a little bit more of a snug fit around the thigh. And then I tried a couple of different configurations for his waist. I found that if I uh, didn't have it tight enough whenever he was taking a nap, sometimes it would come out the back, right? So whenever he would pee and it would get absorbed, it might absorb all the way to this el elastic part. And if that part was sticking, like if I had it around his waist and this elastic part was exposed, it would leak out and get his clothes wet. I'm trying to figure out how to make it work so that when he's napping, it doesn't like come out the top bands. Up here on the waistband, it has it's like a cotton liner. I think it's cotton liner on the inside of the diaper. So I always try to make sure that it's like tucked up under the waterproof liner portion. I don't know, I don't know how to fix that. So I'm gonna try and troubleshoot and see if I can figure out how to make that stop. So I always made sure to roll this part under and then on the front, this is the same thing. I'd make sure to roll this part down. So as you saw, I had a couple of issues with some leaking diapers. Um, and in order to combat that, I decided to do this double stuffing method. So I just put them in a new one. And instead of just doing the one single layer that comes with the Nora's nursery diapers, I did this plus I did a bum genius one and snapped it like that and set it so that this folded part is at the front where he pees mostly mm -hmm. <laughs> and double stuffed it so he has a little bit more of like fluff up here instead of it just being in the back see how it goes all right you let's check your diaper out huh so at first glance it looks really good there isn't any sign of a leak once i started doing the double stuff it was Perfect. I didn't have any issues anymore. And since then we have not had a single leak. This is the perfect amount of absorbency that he needs from when he wakes up to when, like from when he wakes up from a nap and I change his diaper to when he goes to sleep and wakes up again and I change it. So that's like usually a three and a half hour period that he is totally covered. One thing I noticed with a couple other brands that I was trying out uh, is that they aren't super trim. They're, they're really bulky. And whenever he wears them, he almost looks like he's like riding a horse, like his hips are set farther apart. And um, this is really trim. It's really nice and compact. And whenever he's wearing it, he just seems really comfortable. He doesn't seem bothered by it at all. The only thing that I will mention, and this isn't a huge deal, uh, but it is something to note, is that the place where you insert the inserts in is a little small for my liking. I wish it was, I wish that this opening was a little bit bigger so that I could get my hand in further since I am doing two layers. Uh, it can be a little frustrating to like get the fit right. However, I do really like it whenever it's in because there's no chance that it's gonna come out. Uh, so I do like that, but stuffing them does take a little bit of extra care to do the double stuff method. But other than that, that is the only thing 
functionality wise that is a little bit off. Everything else is super seamless and really easy to use. It's just as easy as using a disposable and I really love them. Now when it comes to washing and drying the diapers, we started introducing solids to Wilder and because of that, we are having to uh, like scrape all of his poop off since he isn't exclusively breastfed. If you're exclusively breastfed, the poop is water soluble and you can just toss it into the washing machine and not worry about it. But because he has, he's eating solids, his poop needs to be scraped off and sprayed before we put it in the washer. So we have a bidet attached to our toilet and I will just take the inserts out and I will spray off the um, cover and it comes off, put it in the wash and it washes up like a dream. There's no issues whatsoever as long as I have enough diapers in the washing machine. You definitely wanna make sure that you have enough in there to properly agitate it so that it definitely gets clean. But we haven't had any issues at all cleaning them. They come out uh, white every single time and we hang dry them. That's a personal choice. They include a little sheet that tells you how to care for the diapers and you wanna wash them a couple of times before you start using them on your baby to get optimal absorbency. And and they say that you can put them in the dryer and it won't cause any issues. I prefer to hang dry mine anyway. So I have like a little drying rack that I hang all the diapers on and they dry within the same day and they, they're great. I really haven't had any issues with maintenance whatsoever. So overall, whenever I am looking at cloth diapers, there are a couple of categories that I look at. The first category is price and affordability, and I give them a 10 out of 10 on this. The fact that you get a pack of seven diapers for $60 is just fantastic. That brings the price point down so much lower than most of the competitors. You're really getting a big bang for your buck, and I love that. The second category is ease of use. And I would give them a nine out of 10 on this. The only reason that I give them a nine and not a 10 is because like I said, this a uh, little elastic area that you put the inserts into is a little bit tricky to maneuver. Um, but I do like the way that it fits snug inside once I do have the inserts in there. However, it is frustrating to get them in, but overall, you know, I do laundry and hang dry everything. And then Drew and I will sit down and stuff them together and he's good to go for, we have enough to last us for about three or four days. So I only have to do it, you know, once or twice a week and it's not that big of a deal, but it is something to think about if you have, you know, two or three kids that you're cloth diapering for, it does take some time. The third category is, do they work? I for sure think they are a 10 out of 10 in this category because they work seamlessly. I have really, really enjoyed them. It's such a pleasure, honestly, to get to use them. And they just are so thoughtfully designed. I really, really enjoy them. Of course, this is an important category because I know for a lot of people, they are adverse to using cloth diapers because they think that they will leak or be more cumbersome or more difficult to work with. And these are fantastic. The fourth category is aesthetics. Are they, you know, aesthetically pleasing to me? And absolutely, I would give them an 11 out of 10 on this because they are just beautiful. The colors that they picked are just, I, I haven't found a cloth diaper brand that makes colors like this at all. And they are constantly adding new colors to their lines. And then category number five, are they ethically produced? And this is really what was like the home run piece for me is that not only are these diapers uh, cost effective, pretty to look at and work well. They are ethically manufactured and sourced and the company has a lot of really fantastic initiatives and stands for a lot of things that um, I find to be really, really important when I am picking a company to support. You definitely vote with your dollars and I will continue to support this company because I think that they are doing amazing things. If you check out their website, they actually break down the cost of manufacturing and the cost of goods and they show exactly how much everything costs and how how they are able to price their diapers the way that they do. And I love how transparent they are in the way that they uh, give information to their consumers. I also had to reach out to customer service because I accidentally ordered an extra 
um, set of diapers that I didn't intend to, and they were lovely. I love talking to them. They had uh, such quick feedback and were very, very helpful. So not only do they have great ethical standards, they have amazing customer service as well. If you are in the market for some new cloth diapers, I highly recommend checking out Nora's Nursery. I will put a link to them down below so that you can go and look at these diapers if you would like to snag some. And that is it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed this, please give this video a thumbs up. It helps me out so, so much. Subscribe if you are not already, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.